I learned that I can thrive without sugar and chocolate, which is huge for me. Again, very huge. Um, I love homemade treats. I'm not like a candy bar person. I don't drink soda pop, nothing like that, but I love homemade brownies, cinnamon rolls, chocolate chip pancakes, pumpkin chocolate chip muffins, all the homemade goodies. I love them. Anything that has peanut butter, chocolate, carbs, you know, all that stuff, I'm, I'm there. And this past year, as I was really analyzing you know, just my year of rest, I, I realized that one of the areas in my life that I wanted to work on rebuilding was my health. So um, Rachel, um, who is a follower, um, I met her, in, I've actually known her for a long time, but kind of reconnected with her um, through Periscope and um, through blogging, she connected me with her nutritionist, Jason, and, and she just said, you know, this might be something for you to try. And I said, okay, I, I know I need to rebuild my health. Um, I know I have a lot of anxiety. I know that I pushed too hard for too many years. My health is kind of shot and I want to do something for me this year. So 18, almost 19 weeks ago, um, I started working with Jason, uh, my nutritionist, and he put me on this cleanse and detox, made me go off coffee, made me eat tons of salad, tons and tons and tons of salad, drink a gallon of lemon water every day, eat so much garlic and ginger and all these other types of things like dandelion leaves and stuff. Um, and for the first few weeks, I was miserable. And I was like, this was the dumbest idea ever. Like, what was I thinking? Why did I say yes to this? This is so ridiculous. But I stuck with it because I had said I'm gonna do it for two months because I figured if I didn't see any changes at the end of two months, you know, it was a good experiment and now I can go back to eating what I normally eat and living like I normally live and just know that it's not for me. Well, at the end of five weeks, something big changed and I started to have so much more energy. I started to have so much more um, just this new kind of zest for life. I felt really empowered. I felt really excited about life and I stopped craving all the sugar and chocolate and carbs and I started wanting to eat things like salad and salmon and I'm like, what is wrong with me? But it was true and it was like I had completely had this shift in my taste buds and it was amazing and incredible and kind of scary but so I stuck with it through the end of two months and the end of two months I'm like this is changing my life I'm gonna stick with it and I was able to get off all my medication that I'd been on, my 5-HTP for anxiety, um, I had been on medication for allergies for years, I had been on medication for acne, for eczema, was able to get off every single pill that I was on and feel amazing, have more energy than I'd had in years, ha um, have more clarity in my head than I'd ever had and feel so much better. And it's just been an amazing journey for me and been very, very exciting for me to be able to do something really new and change my lifestyle and stick with it. And to go through Thanksgiving and to go through Christmas and eat on this eating plan and be okay with it. Like he let me have, he said I could have pie for Chris, for Thanksgiving and at pie for Christmas. And I, I did, I had a piece of pie. And I was sort of like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that was okay, but I don't really miss it. And I was, and it was just this weird thing. It's like my cravings have completely changed. Um, Jason Pearson is a nutritionist, um, Lisa. If you are interested in more details on him, um, you wanna email me. He doesn't have a lot of stuff on the internet, although he's working on that because I think he needs to have more of an internet presence. But email me and I'm happy to share with you all the details of the plan. My email is moneysavingmom at gmail.com. And I'll tell you that it's not cheap and it's not for the faint of heart, but for me to be able to go off all of my medication and for me to be able to go off um, like coffee and for me to be able to feel so vibrant and energetic and have my skin be so much more cleared up than it's ever been in my life. My nails, I don't know if you guys can see, but like my nails are more, are stronger and healthier than they've ever, ever, ever been. 
and I'm not biting them because I, I don't have the anxiety that I used to have before. It's incredible. And it's been 19 weeks. Um, so yeah, really incredible. So learning that I can thrive without sugar and chocolate has been amazing for me. And he's also taught me to listen to my body so much more and to take better care of my body because I have to check in with him every single day and give him my weight and how I feel. And talk about the accountability that that is for me because I can't just pretend. I have to be honest if I'm in, he'll, he'll be like, you're not getting enough sleep. And he's really, really, really worked with me on that. And so um, I have been become such a fanatic about making sure that I'm getting seven complete hours of sleep every single night and shooting more for seven and a half. Um, okay, and then number 10, this is kind of going into that, is I actually do have time to take really good care of myself. I made excuses for so long for not prioritizing my health. Um, I'd say I have too much to do, too many people need me, you know, it's just, and it, I would feel like I was being selfish if I would take time to take care of myself. And really, in most cases, it was me choosing not to prioritize my health. It wasn't those other people, it wasn't those other things, it was me making excuses and choosing not to prioritize my health. And so by making the decision to hire Jason to start working with him, I made the commitment to prioritize my health because I wasn't going to put out this money to hire him and then not make good on that and not make a priority because, you know, when you put money into something, you also are motivated to actually follow through with it. And I knew that that's my personality that I would. And I didn't know that he required me to prioritize my health so much. Like I talked about, he, you know, makes me check in every single day. And he is always challenging me, you have got to step back. You need to, you know, he, he's even told me like, you need to hire somebody else to help you with those things because you should not be the one that has that kind of stress in your life. And I'm like, what nutritionist does that? So he's, I feel like he's my life coach because he's helping me get more sleep. He's created a fitness plan for me. And one of the things with the fitness plan that he's done is he really challenged me at first as I was rebuilding my health, not to push too hard because I'm the kind of person that is like, oh, I want to run three miles in 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to go up there and I'm going to make myself do it. And he said, he's like, no, we're going to gradually work up to that. And we're going to be gentle with your body. And we're not going to push your body too hard. Now he does challenge me to push myself, but he's always making sure that my heart rate is in check and that I'm not just constantly just push, 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 but that I'm really being kind to myself and that I am really doing what's best for my body holistically long term. And so he's really helped me to let go of a lot of those old patterns that I've had for years and years of not making my health a priority. And the thing that I've discovered, and I've said this for years, but I've really discovered it, is that when I make my health a priority and when I take care of me, I'm so much better able to take care of other people. And so I'm so much better as a wife, as a mom, as a business owner, as a friend, because I have so much more joy. I have so much more life. I have so much more clarity in my brain. My brain is not going crazy with all this anxiety. I'm healthier overall. So I'm able to be a better mom, a better wife, a better friend, a better business owner better in all areas. And so taking care of me, prioritizing my health is a gift that I can give to all of those around me.